Hello video, welcome back to Cheryl. Look who I've got with me, my lovely wife Jen. It's been a while since we've done a video together, right? Yep, I guess a year. A year, yeah. Many changes. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest change? Oh, complete family. <laughs> yeah, complete family. You get a little one. Baby. Um, you know, I get on my channel, I've been a lot of, you know, criticism and snide remarks about having a baby at my age. And I'd just like for you to explain because we, we talked about this over and over, and it wasn't an easy decision, it's something we talked about a lot. Um, explain to people why it's so important for you to have a baby um, and what it means to you, even though you know that, you know, because of my age, who knows how long I'm going to be around. We discussed all of this in detail. Um, just tell people your thoughts. Mm, from the start, uh, when we started dating, uh I ask you that I want to have a child, but you're not ready because we're just dating, you know, like maybe two months, I guess. Right. Maybe. And so um, I accept that. So now that we got married, I told you that um, because I love you and I want something that reminds me of you, and it's not about material things. So it's like. Um, like forever that I can, you know, you know, um, let, just like a baby, you know, as a Filipino, it's really important for me. Mm. And um, I don't know, I just, uh, but we agreed before that if we cannot have a child, I'll accept that. Right, so, yeah, we agreed that if it happened, I would accept it and be happy about it. Yeah. If it didn't happen, you'd accept it. You wouldn't be happy about it. You would accept it too. Yeah. And it, it, it took a while. We were together. We've been together over four three years. years. Four years now. And uh, we haven't been trying the whole four years now. So just like the last what, couple of years, I guess, trying. Yeah. And um, it course, happens. And it happened, you know. Yeah, we're, happened. we're glad. And we did all the things on, you know, there's, there's recommendations, you know, on, on the internet and stuff, things you can do to increase your chances. So we did all those things. One thing I did, by the way, like I did a video recently talking about TRT, and I stopped taking that, and that made I think that's what made the big difference. But anyway, so we've got our little baby. He's been here for almost three weeks now. Yeah, almost three weeks. Three weeks. And so tell me how you feel, and I mean, all your with your expectations met. I mean, are you happy now? Can I relax now? Or <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> I am more than happy more than blessed and grateful not just because I have the baby finally I have my own baby that, and also I got you <laughs> and um, so yeah nothing could I nothing I could ask more so how about is the challenge has it been hard like he's been you know up at night and changing diapers and all that stuff and feeding and I mean any challenges or is it um, different than you thought or did you everything kind of what you expected? Um, I don't, I'm not surprised because my experience before, I mean, baby, I've been on um, babysitting before so I'm not surprised and, uh, and your brother has a baby too, which you're around that too, so you saw yeah, him, yeah. yeah. And um, it's so hard to hear or to see a baby cry, you know, his face turns red and he cry. You know, we don't let them cry, we pick them up. But yeah. everybody says don't do that, we do it anyway. No, yeah. no, it's so hard to, you know, listen to him crying just for a couple of seconds. So I need to pick him up and uh, try to calm him down. He needs to go back to sleep. And then he really hates to change his nappy like that. So I need to make it faster. So that He's gotten better though. He started laying there quietly and letting me change it yeah. the last couple of times. So. Yeah, so I hope that it stays like that. Yeah. I changed <laughs> but his nappies. Change the, yeah, I changed his really bad nappies in the hospital the first two days because you were recovering from your surgeries. You couldn't yeah, do that. I, can it, you know? I, I cannot stand. I can't walk. So mm -hmm. Mark, you know, um, he's the one who's doing everything for the baby. Change, change uh, his, uh, what is that, shirt and nappy like that. And uh, I'm so glad and I was so surprised because when the baby cries, you never, you never had this hot temper. You never, like, ah, oh, like that, uh, sigh. So, uh, yeah, I'm so blessed because you're so calm when the baby cries. 
I'm calm because I'm old. <laughs> I think, I really think it's easier to be a patient father, especially with a little baby, when you're older than it was when I was, say, 35 when I had my first child. I was patient then too, but mm -hmm. um, it's almost like it's made me feel younger. I mean, you know, holding them and stuff, it's like, I don't, I don't feel, my, I really don't feel 68. I honestly don't. I may look it, um, and I know that I really am, but, you know, holding him and stuff and, and being with you, it's like, I just feel young again. It's like, it's a fountain of youth, and when he wakes up in the middle of the night, I don't mind picking him up and holding him and rocking him and changing his diaper. And we kind of take turns. It's, we didn't talk about it. It's like, he'll wake up, and I'll take, I'll take him and get him quieted down, get him changed, get him back to sleep, and then wake up next time, and you'll get him. And we don't like to say, oh, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, we just kind of work it all out. And it's been great, you know. It's like yeah, last night, like just like last night, I was so tired. So uh, I'm so tired since that we got home from the hospital until now. I still don't have enough sleep because, you know, we need to, we need to prioritize the baby. So uh, because he's been crying at night, so I'm still adjusting from, you know, outside world. And um, so yeah, but uh, um, it keeps better now. It keeps getting better. No, it's getting day. better every day. And you're doing great. You're doing really great. I mean, you just caught right onto it. No, well, you know, last night because uh, when the baby cries, you suddenly get up and try to calm him, stop him from crying, and uh, you even um, give him a bottle of milk. And I didn't realize that the baby fall asleep you put him in his bed like that. So yeah. It's like a teamwork. It is a team, yeah. yeah. And it's also good since I'm, you know, basically retired and I've just got, you know, my YouTube channel, so I've got my own free time, so I don't have to, he wakes up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm up for a couple hours, so what, I can always sleep in later because I don't have to worry about going to a job in the morning, which relieves mm -hmm. a lot of stress when you've got your own free schedule, you know, so it's, you know, it's actually made it much easier than it was before when I was a father. and. Uh, it's just I'm trying to enjoy every moment of it. Literally, you know, I hold him and look at him and think, you know, this is you know one of the greatest days of your life. It really is, and you have to remember that, you know, and make the most of every moment. And we're both trying to do that. And I have no regrets at all. I'm not a second thought. Um, the cost of the uh, uh, pregnancy and the um, having the baby there in the hospital in the Philippines was a tiny fraction of what it would be in America. And we did it all first class. We went to the best hospital got the very best room in the hospital, had a great doctor, everything was, you know, first class, and, you know, it was a tiny, tiny price of what we would have paid in America, and we're very happy with, you know, the treatment that we got, and the way the doctors treated you, and treated the baby, and yeah. everything's good, you know, and we're all set here, you know, we've got friends, we've got her mother, and her Supported sister around, friends, lots of family. friends around, yeah, and so it's, you know, been easy. And we're watching him right now, he's like a little time bomb, he's ready to explode any minute, so we might have to end this video. But, um, I'm just, uh, anything else, any thoughts you have about motherhood? And um, being a motherhood, uh, you know, it's mm. my first time, so, um, I don't know, I'm so just so blessed, and you I, will, feel different as a I will person try now? my best to be calm myself. Mm be calm and be patient uh, because he's a baby and um, yeah I love him so much he's so cute and uh, I would never forget also my uh, my job I mean my job I mean my responsibility for both of you and um, so I guess that's it so yesterday she, she was holding she goes I hope he stays with us when he gets married he doesn't want him to move out when he gets married. No, I don't want him because <laughs> he's the only one I have. I mean, he's the only one baby I have, so I want him to stay with me forever. <laughs> well, I hope, in the Philippines, a lot of people do that, you know. The families here, they stick together, so it's quite possible that'll happen. You never know. Even if you get married, like, oh, please, just live with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I think it was this morning, I'm trying to breastfeed him. This morning or yesterday? Um, while I was in the bedroom, um, looking at your picture, I got emotional. I guess I think that's normal for a mom. Emotional about what? My picture? What? I don't know. I just it just came up to my mind mm -hmm. that you know, like it's so painful to lose you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like, I don't know why, it just came up to my mind. Yeah. yeah. So, oh no. Don't cry yet. You gotta make the most of it. Yeah. I take care of myself, I, you know, exercise and try and eat right and <laughs> you need to. As long you as need possible. to, you know, you need to, to at least stop your McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. When we're in town, I have a tendency to stop and get a McDonald's, but I quit getting the french fries. I just get like the sandwich, you know, so. Anyway. Burger. She's very healthy. I mean, if I could eat like her, you know, she's eating fish and rice and vegetables and very healthy. Oh, I remember when we got, I mean, before we, uh, we came home, uh, the doctor uh, told me that uh, don't do any chores, just uh, rest and don't do any work. But I came home, I just, I, even if I got, I mean, I'm still tired, lack of sleep. And I got my stitches, and it's hard to walk. But I don't know. I, my mind, my body wants to work. Yeah, she had a C-section. Um, my little guy is waking up now, as you can see. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for subscribing, and thanks for watching Jen's channel and mine. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.